What's up guys, this is Daniel Languish and this channel is all about increasing value in tech, productivity, fitness, and lifestyle. And today we're going to be continuing our series, our deep dive into the productivity app Notion and how it can transform the various aspects of our productivity lives. And specifically, we're going to be looking at how Notion can replace a traditional checklist, to-do list that you might have. Now I think one of the common criticisms of Notion is that it's not very good at being a quick to-do list manager. And, and while I think that's fair, I think as we are gonna go into today, there are things that you can do with Notion, first of all, to make it work better as a to-do list. And also, I think there are parts of Notion when using it as a to-do list that allow you to have a lot more power in connecting your day-to-day -day tasks to higher projects. And so I think this is gonna be really valuable for you in making sure that what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis is linking with what your ultimate goals are. And if this sounds interesting to you, drop a like below, subscribe, and I'd really appreciate it if you wanna hear more about productivity, Notion, all that sort of stuff. With that being said, let's get into the video. So here we are at just a blank screen of Notion. And we're gonna just start out with the very basics of checklists and then kind of work up from there. Um, so here you're at a blank page and let's say you just wanna start out just putting down some of the things that you wanna do. So yeah, I could write here with the title, I could put um, to-do list. And then what you can do is we talked about in the previous video, um, putting slash to create different blocks. Well, right here, if you type, we've got one for to-do lists. And so what you can do here is, you know, I could say go to grocery store, um, clean the house, love my wife, um, really anything that you want to put down for a to-do list and they'll go there. And then when you get them done, you can go and click the checkbox and you'll see it automatically strikes through it. And that is just a very bare bones way that Notion has built in to do to-do lists. Now, there's some functionality that Notion allows um, that you can add to these tasks to simulate a traditional to-do list app. So for example, a lot of times when I'm using a to-do list app, I like to assign tasks to various people. With, now with my wife and I, you know, if, if we have various chores around the house, we like to, you know, I'm gonna assign these tasks to you, I'll take some tasks, and then, um, We'll balance, you know, balance between those two. And so Notion has a way of doing that is you can hit at the at sign and this will pop up right here. And then you'll go down to people and you can assign a person. Now, I'm the only one in here right now. I'm using a, a blank Notion profile. But normally it would have both the name of me and my wife and anybody else you assign tasks to. And now only that task will that task will be specifically assigned to you. Additionally, something that I use a lot with to-do lists is reminders. I, I like it to, especially things that I'm doing just you know weekly, take out the trash, uh, various things that uh, my wife uh, needs me to do so that uh, I'm not an awful husband. And so we hit the at sign and you can also set reminders. So I could say, you know, if today I need to be reminded at 3 p.m., I can hit boom. And now Notion will automatically remind you. And especially if you have a Notion on your you know, iPhone, Android, it'll send you a notification to do this, which is super helpful. So that's kind of a, a basic, uh, to-do list that you can do just typing them out like that. Now, what if you wanna maybe take to-do list to the next level? And this is where I think Notion is awesome because Notion can co connect the tasks that you do to the bigger hierarchy of your life and goals that you're trying to achieve. So here, I'm gonna go come down and I'm gonna create a new page. We're gonna open it up as a page. And instead of just typing, we're actually going to create a table right here. And you'll see it makes a full screen table here. So again, we're gonna title it to-do list. And now we're gonna go through and we'll just say, this is the name of the task. And we're gonna add a few, you can add different columns that you want. So 
Instead here, we're gonna maybe want um, the date that I need to do it. Um, and over here, we could add a, let's add a, we'll add a select. So we'll just say this is a category of our life. So again, I could say, go to grocery store, boom. I could say, love my wife. Say, take out the trash and write um, research paper. And that would be like for school. And so then you can easily go through and you know choose the dates that I want to do this. So I'll say, I'm gonna do this tomorrow probably do this every day um, take out the trash I'll just throw down some random dates here and uh, and actually for for demonstration sake I'm gonna put this as another day here but what's awesome is then you can go through by category and and choose categories so you can kind of categorize the various areas of your life so go to the grocery store that would maybe be under like a uh, you could say home, maybe. I love my wife, that might be relationship. Uh, take out the trash, that probably is home. And write research paper, that is school. And I would probably here not want these to be such similar colors, so you can, you can change the colors of your labels. And now, when you're doing your to-do list, it is, you're able to kind of compartmentalize things, which I really like to kind of know, okay, what what is this area of my life is this working on? Now you'll notice I changed the date here to June 10th, and that's why doing it in a table is really cool, is because you can go up here, click on date, and then sort, and now you'll see I have a sort for date ascending, and you'll see it automatically sorted my tasks by the earliest due date. And that is super helpful because you can just start typing in all your tasks, all your tasks, and it will automatically be sorting them by the due date, and that's huge. Now where I think a lot of the power comes with a to-do list in a table like this is when you can start linking it to your higher projects. And so let's go over here and we're just gonna add another page and we're gonna add another table and we're gonna call this one projects. And we're just gonna go in here and just real quick, so we're gonna say uh, uh, film notion video. We're gonna say um, plan camping trip. Um, oh man, let's say um, work on, or write research paper. Um, so we just have a few projects here. So let's go back to our to-do list page that we made. And we are going to, uh, let's, let's change some of these to being uh, things that might relate to those projects. So I could say uh, research for Notion video. And then, you know, the category might be, instead of home, it might be YouTube. And I'll be over here, we're gonna be like, look into camp, camping spots. And eh, that's probably, that's probably a relationship. Um, uh, gather sources for research paper school. And we'll just leave that. But what's awesome here is you can link databases together in Notion. And if you click the plus sign here, and we go down to property type, and you go down here, you'll see this one that says relation. So you're gonna click that, and it's gonna pop up with asking you what database do you wanna link it to. And so I'm gonna select database, and if I go down here, we are going to search for projects and I see two popped up, so hopefully this is the right one. Projects. Yep, so now when I click on projects, it's gonna ask what project do you wanna link this task to? So research for Notion video, 
I'm going to link that to the film Notion video project and look into and let's see look into camping spots I'm gonna link that to the plan camping trip project gather sources for research paper I'm gonna link that to the right research paper project and what's awesome is now when you go back over to projects you'll see those tasks are automatically linked into here so you can easily when you go to projects you can see all the tasks that are linked to that project and then when you go into tasks, you can see, okay, what project is this working towards? And th this is kind of a hierarchy system that I think is huge so that you know what you're doing on the day-to-day -day basis is working towards your higher goals. And, and there's a whole lot more you could get into about uh, your projects, working towards goals that you set and all and stuff like that. And that's still stuff that I'm trying to figure out here in Notion. But this is just a, a simple way that you can implement connecting your tasks to your higher projects. And that's something that I, I found I couldn't really get using traditional to-do list apps. Now, what if you want to make uh, tasks disappear upon completing them? Or, or, you know, a lot of people argue, oh, well, what I love about, you know, writing down on a piece of paper my tasks is I can like cross them off. Well, if you go, let's go back to our to-do list table here. And you can in here add a, um, we're gonna just add a done category. And it's just gonna be a checkbox. And you can resize all of these things. We're gonna drag it all the way over here to the left. Love that about Notion. You can just drag things around. And so now when I get things done, I can just click on the checkbox to mark it's done. But honestly, for me, that's not satisfying enough. So what we're gonna do actually is we're going to create two different views for this table. So we're going to add a view and we're going to um, call this first view, um, we'll just say it's our incomplete and we'll create that. And then we're going to create a, we're going to, now we'll rename the second view as complete. And we'll just do that. So we have an incomplete and a complete. So for ink, let's go back to incomplete. And what we're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go over here, you're gonna go over to filter. And we're gonna add a filter to this because we, in this incomplete view, we don't want it to show tasks that have a checkbox check. So that's gonna be what we're gonna filter out from here. So you can click add filter and then we're gonna choose done is, and then we're gonna do not checked. So this is gonna now show, and we have a, extra thing here, but it's gonna show any task that we have that is not checked. And likewise, we're gonna switch over to our complete view and we're gonna do a filter here and add it. So add filter where done is checked. So you'll see what's awesome about this now is go back to incomplete. Let's say today I was super productive and you'll see they automatically go off when I click that and then you go over to our complete view, boom, they're right there. You're able to keep track of the things you got done and still get that satisfaction of your to-do list getting shorter and shorter each day. And so one last awesome thing that you can do to really speed up entering a task into Notion, which is a, a huge thing for a lot of people and that's why they like to-do list apps, is we're gonna go through this process to show you how you can quickly jump in and add a task uh, on your mobile device as quick as possible. And we're gonna be doing this on iPhone, but you can do it on Android as well. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you are going to want to open up Safari. So I open it up here, and in Safari, I'm just gonna type in search Notion and pull up Notion within my Safari browser. So you'll see here, we've got my uh, to-do list that we just created. And from that to-do list, uh, we're basically going to want to uh, actually first thing go down is I'm probably going to want to change it to dark mode because dark mode's awesome. And we're going to share that to do list and it pulls up here and you're going to want to scroll down and hit add to home screen. So we add to home screen and you can delete to do list complete and and rename it to something like a uh, new task, you know, that might be uh, relevant. But you're gonna add and you'll see here, it gets added to the home screen, which is really awesome because now it, 
is a shortcut there. So when I click on it, it pulls up and the first time it's gonna make you log in. So uh, I'm gonna log in real quick. And so now that I'm logged in, we've got uh, my straight to my to-do list pulled up. And the awesome part is that no matter where you are in Notion, on other devices, it'll pull up your to-do list. So, you know, I close out here and now when I click new task, it's going to immediately pull up my to-do list every single time and I can hit new, I can start typing in uh, whatever task might be on my mind and then it immediately gets entered and that I found is a really quick way to add tasks to your to-do list as quick as possible without having to navigate. And this actually can be used if there's any pages in your Notion setup that you access a lot and you want shortcuts to, this setup is a great way to create that shortcut and get there as quickly as possible on your mobile device. Well, there you have it guys. That's it for today. Until next time.